Mate, come on, this is mad. What are you going to do when you get there? Let's try and find her. Aaron, I know you're worried, right? She's told her mum that she's staying at her mate's house for the night, so she calls his mate's mum. She knows nothing about it. She's answering the phone, no one's seen her, so worry, don't even come close. By the time you're on the ferry, odds are she'll be back at home grounded forever. Yeah, and what if she's not? I can't just sit here doing nothing, Adam. She's my sister. Oh, maybe she's got a boyfriend you don't know about. Maybe she's let her. Stop talking, you're making it worse. You let yourself out here, I'll pick the keys up in a bit. No, hold on, I'll come with you. No, just stay and look after the scrapyard. Thanks anyway, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Surprise? Mum, I didn't have a clue. I was just heading out to come over there. Just, just let me speak to her and I'll call you back. I'm not going to let her wrap me around a little finger, but... Mum, I'll see you later. That sounded like it went well. This place is amazing, by the way, if it wasn't completely hidden with all your mess. Sorry, do you think this is a joke? You didn't tell anyone, Liv. My mum, your mum, they've been going out of the mines. Right, well, I'm fine. Anything could have happened to you. I'm not a kid, Aaron. Do you know who says I'm not a kid? Kids. I mean, how did you even get on the boat and no one asked you who you were with? I might have lied a bit. Where's Robert? Why do you think you get an easier ride with him? Because you wouldn't. You know, I actually thought you'd be pleased to see me. Got that wrong, didn't I? All you had to do was tell someone. But no, you thought I'd have everyone worried sick instead. If I'd have told someone, they would have tried stopping me coming home. And nothing was going to stop me.